Hey guys, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's Des here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're having a fantastic night, morning, afternoon, midday, wherever you are in the world, my friends. Welcome on in. I hope you guys are having a good one. Um, Tonight, we are kicking in to some uh, Bravely Default this evening, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to having you all join me and go along with me. Um, but before we get stuck into it, uh, well, first of all, my, my, uh, I, I had a pretty good day so far. It was, um, it was a very busy day at work today, uh, but I managed to... Uh, the good thing about being busy is you know what you need to do in in a way. You know what you've got to get done. So um, I was very head down and focused on getting work done. And it just made the day flow by quicker, which is awesome. I'm really happy with finishing up sooner than I realized, uh, which is always good. Um, and so, yeah, now I get to be here with you guys and hang out with you guys for the rest of the evening uh, while we play through some Bravely Default, which is going to be a lot of fun. But, guys, before we get any cr get too far ahead of ourselves, uh, let's get on with the dad joke of the day. All right. Dad joke of the day. Okay. Why do seagulls fly over sea? Because if they were bagels, if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. I kind of screwed up the punchline there. <laughs> Pro streamer moves, right? <laughs> I butchered that. <laughs> uh, I did an awful job on that one, but hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's out of the way. You guys don't have to put up with it any longer. Um, so, yeah, but let's uh, let's get on with the game. Here we are. We are here in the game, which is awesome. Let me just... Talk about that. If at any point, my friends... If at any point, my friends, the audio is out of sync, or if my voice is too loud, or if the game is too quiet, or anything like that, Feel free to let me know, we'll fix it up straight away. I want to make sure that we're giving a nice, clean, consistent feed to you guys, so we'll see how we go. Yeah, Dylan, I've been I've been leveling up. I've been doing a little bit of leveling in the side, so um, I've nearly got everyone across the board level six in their jobs. Music is a bit loud. The music. As in the game or the music, background music. Oh, why is that? Hang on a second. All right. Um, so you should be getting uh, my voice and the game. Let me drop that down a little bit further. Uh, that should be a little bit better. Let me know, guys. I'd be keen to know. Dredge45 liked the, uh, the, the stream. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy uh, Bravely the Default as much as I do. Uh, okay. All right, we're getting into it. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that the game is a bit easy easing off now. It is a little bit loud on my side, so I'm just turning it down. But I don't know. It's better now? Okay, good to know. That intro, the intro to the game is ridiculously loud for what it should be. I, I don't know why it's so ridiculously loud when the rest of the game is not. <laughs> okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to level up uh, Ringabell's salve maker just a little bit, just to get him up to level six, because we've got... Uh, ring a bell and a deer to get across the board for um, uh, we've got to we've got to get them up to level six across the board and all their jobs. So we're working on that slowly, but we're working on ring a bell quickly now. So we'll do that quickly. 
Um, we also got Ringer Bell to level... Um, what was it? We got him to level 14 in the Red Mage class as well, which is even better. Uh, fire, and we're going to go pressure point on that. I love the graphics in the background of the game. I'm glad that you like it, Lemon. It's, um, it is very beautiful. I'm not going to lie. There we go. And it will take us literally in no time at all. Like, look, we've just got to get one more level in the salve maker and then we can get on with the game. So I just want to finish things up at a certain point. So that way I'm not sort of trying to figure out where I was, where I was picking up last time. So this should get us through nice and quick. Woohoo! Look at that. If I can keep on having wins like that, we'll get through this in no time. It helps that I have the difficulty set up uh, a lot as well, which is also helpful. Helpful. There we go. What a hit. I am loving Adia as a monk at the moment. I think it's fantastic. I can't wait to get some pirate levels in. I think that'll just really, really top things off for Adia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. How is it going? Um, yeah. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to heal in this run. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did get a heal in. Nice. Pressure point. Excellent. Oh, another thing. I'm meant to be having a parcel arrive tomorrow. Um, that is for a replacement part for my PS2. It's a replacement laser. So I'm hoping that... Tomorrow night, I'll be able to fix up my PS2 and get it running nice and smoothly. Uh, so, fingers crossed, that arrives without issue tomorrow. She looks like Harley Quinn a bit. Hey? That girl, Adia, looks like Harley Quinn a bit. With her pigtails. Look at that. We're halfway there. It won't be long. So I'm still... I'm still happy with Tiz being... Um, Hunter and Thief. But I might... Get some levels up in Ninja as well. Because I think that might really... Gel with those two classes. See how that goes. Weak point. Oh, I love that. Oh, and we'll yeah, we'll be. I'm 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 very much expecting that we finish off chapter three this evening, uh, which will be really good. Then we can get on to the next set of chapters, which is going to be great. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Goes down to one health. Let's see how that goes. At least that's one down. Two down. It's weird, they're called Gets death him back stalkers. Up. They're called death stalkers. Do they stalk you until death? They're scorpions. Yeah. Then they should be called scorpions. We should get at least one down. Yep. 
Deathstalker is cooler. Yeah, I, I definitely agree, Dylan. Deathstalker sounds much more menacing and much more fun to take down. And we saw normal scorpions earlier. This is true. They were very early on in the game, weren't they? Okay, I think I think one one or two more hits will get us to where we need to be. There we go. Pardon me, sorry guys. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Sorry. Well, I'm gonna go downstairs and do some. Okay, no worries. Create. All good. So if you need me, I'll be downstairs. No problem. That sounds like a plan. Okay, so now we've gotten ring a bell up to. So we've got. If I if I go through it, we've got level six on everything. Black mage mastered. Red Mage Mastered, Salve Marker, so I've just got, I've got Performer, Performer, Ninja, and Sword Master to do on Ring Bell. And then on Adia, I have, uh, it's a bit more sporadic, but then I just have Ninja Sword Master to do on Adia. So we're nearly there in that front as well. Um, so we want him to be here. Change equipment. You can have flame tongue. Giving a deer sword master is like feeding a chicken chicken. <laughs> um, if somebody does, um, toxic waste, can you call me up? Yeah, okay, sure. All right, there we go. Alright, uh, I'm going to, for, for sake of gameplay and not having an encounter, oh, because that was her master's asterisk. I, I, well, that's exactly it. And that's, uh, I, I was very much thinking that's what I would want for Adia, is, is to be taking out that asterisk. But, um... Oh, I screwed the pooch on this one, didn't I? Let's do that. I just might get this. We'll see. We'll get... At le I think we'll get at least two down. Woo! There we go. See, I feel like Ringabell as a red mage, it's sort of wasted. So maybe, maybe I should choose a job. I'm thinking maybe summoner. I'm thinking he should maybe be a summoner with the black mage. Um, See, I don't know. Yeah, I think we want that. I think we want Rod of Ice. I think Summoner might be the way to go for him. Just because otherwise, uh, we're wasting job points. And I think Summoner might be a good one to put some points into. Bug Slayer. I don't know what his damage output's going to be like this way, but we'll see. That's two down. Okay, it's not too bad. I can deal with that. I think we'll be fine. I'll be happy to do that. Unless, Dylan, do you have any other suggestions for Ring a Bell if he's going to be like a, like a spellcaster? caster? 
Ferns, welcome on in, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by. How did the move go, my friend? I know you moved over the weekend. I hope it went smoothly. There we go. Awesome. I'm good, how are you? I am doing really well. We're playing some more Bravely Default this evening, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and uh, I've got a beer here and we're just chilling out, you know? Just chilling out. Uh, what was it going? Aurora, Bazaar, and Pressure Point. Epic group cast was great, or group cast all. Yeah. See, that's what I think. I think it'd be a really good thing to have, to ma have it mastered as well. So it's a good starting point, at least. Move went smoothly. However, the packing is not. Oh, dear. That does not sound like a good time. I hope I hope it's nothing. Uh, I hope it's not not something that's not too bad. I'm drinking entirely too much wine while I try and deal with a massive amount of shit I have to unpack. Oh, no. See, I'm not looking forward to that either when I've got to move is I'm like packing everything up and then Un like unpacking it when I get there. Oh God. I have a few, actually a lot of broken items. Oh, no good. No good. I hope it isn't anything too expensive. Like I hopefully it can be reasonably replaced. Haven't even unpacked my PC to make sure it's fine. Oh dear. Hiya, Kaylee. Welcome on into the stream, my friend. I hope you're doing well. How was your day? You can't get to your damn PC. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, look, I, like, when, I, when we move, I'm really hoping that we can get a removalist. And I'd love to just, in theory, it sounds good, but I'd love to just pack all of the gear up, get it all over in one day, and then spend the rest of the move unpacking and bond cleaning the other house and all that sort of stuff. I feel like that'll be the best way to go. Whether that actually happens is a different story entirely. <laughs> I gotta find a place to get to first. There we go. Woohoo! Excellent. Beast again. Yeah, I, I think if I can really get uh, get everything over in one day, I think I'll be very, I'd be much less stressed. Then I can just focus on unpacking everything, getting it into its right home, and cleaning up the house. Which there won't be much cleaning. There's just some odd repairs to do from like when we've been able to mount things on the walls and stuff, which will be an easy fix. I've done that before. And I'll probably get, even though I've got a carpet cleaner, I'll probably get it professionally carpet cleaned as well, just to give that additional peace of mind. We've nearly maxed out Ranger too, which is even better. Nice. I, I dare say that by the end of tonight, we will have maxed out Ranger for Tiz as well. And then from there, we'll be able to work on Thief. You had movers. See this, and, and this is what I'm really nervous about, is that if I get move, removalists in, are they going to break a whole, a whole pile of my stuff? Like, that's, that's what I'm really concerned about. Like, are they going to break a whole pile of my stuff?
Epic group cast removes the damage penalty for group damage. The group class also allows you to make single target spells group spells. Ooh, that is going to be deadly with a dark, like with black magic spells. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot, Dylan. There we go. It's not bad. Yeah. There's my girl, Adia, bringing home the bacon. Okay. So we are heading towards... What's that doing? Uh, we are heading towards the Grand Ship. That's what we're doing. Every time you see me hitting on a group in Bravely, I always have Epic Group cast on. Well, yeah, if you're getting, if you're getting that much, like benefit to it. I, I, I can absolutely see why. Uh, electric and water. Okay, so let's go with aquatic. No, let's go aquatic. Yeah, let's go sea serpent. I'm going to do it a little bit backwards. Because from memory, that thing has a lot of HP. Yeah. See, we're nearly level seven already. Ooh, okay. I'm sure we've got this. Nice. Ooh, nasty. There we go. Learn summoning level four. Nice. You can uh, you can be running full force, max power, dirty fighter, stacked crit amp, but even still, if you don't have ECG, uh, EGC, your damage will just not be up to par. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's definitely helpful to have the summoner summoner class leveled up as high as we can take it. Um, let's go with Ariel. Let's do that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Excellent. All right, here's the grand ship. Now, is there a... There is a... Um, what you might call it? An inn? We'll stay at the inn. Okay, let's save. There we go. Excellent. Up into the engine room we go.
Mm, okay, well, I'm sure we'll be fine. Zats and Zats. Oh, ECG is at White Mage Magic 12. Ooh. So maybe I need to spend some time in White Mage. Um, in White Mage for Ring a Bell, maybe, if that's the case. What about my name? And why do you ask? I know Zats Mighty is an awfully impressive moniker for a little guy like me. Uh, no, that... That's... That isn't... It's fine, buddy. I don't mind. Don't worry about it. Dats and I both. Our names are weirdly at odds with our builds. Always have been. We used to get teased a lot as kids. And we'd pound the kids doing it. Normal kid stuff. Ha ha ha. I can just picture it. Having a name, a name at all, knowing your roots, I'd say that's a blessing in itself. Ah, right. You lost all your memories, didn't you, Ring a Bell? Heh, <laughs> I don't even know if Ring a Bell is supposed to be a given name or a family name. Yes, very tragic. Now stop talking. Dats and I always talked about how we wanted to just ditch our names. Wanted in past tense. Yeah, at my old man's funeral, everyone who came by to talk to me said the same thing. He was a little man with the biggest heart I've seen. He never ran, even from a losing fight. He was the sort of guy to walk right up to the bigger man and sock him one right in the gut. Shoeys, welcome on in, my friend. Hope you're doing well. My old man wasn't big, but he was sure as heck mighty. I could feel it that day. Something important handed down from Grandpa to him to me. It was like I could hear him telling me it was my turn now. My time. I understand that feeling well. All Vestals adopt the name of Oblige. Like you, we continue the chain, connecting past and future. Ahaha, ah, golly. My name's nothing to compare to a Vestal's, but thanks. The way I see it, something I didn't care about at all turned into something I like, that's all. And you still punch anybody who makes fun of it just as hard. <laughs> ha! Ain't that the truth. Alright, let's go into the engine room. Okay. Here we are. Right into the belly of the ship, that's for sure. Of course you do. Alright. The puzzles here are oddly easy for this point in the game. Oh, really? Oh, I don't have... Ah, uh, dear. I'm going to go with Aquatic. Weak point. Excellent. Ooh, it's a decent hit. There we go. Okay, let's... Adia's got singing, but I'll switch to that when we are at a point where we can... When we're at a point where we are, we know we're up to a boss fight, I'll use it. Uh, and I should only need to use this once or twice, uh, just so we can get... Just want to examine. Ooh. 
Okay, there we go. Agnes is pathetic in terms of everything except magic and support. Oh, right. Like, I, 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 I'm struggling to find anything outside of um, White Mage and uh, Apothecary for her, which is a real shame. Yeah, we're definitely going to get to Ranger very soon. I have her on Misk Performer. See, that's a, that's another a good alternative. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what is it? It is weak to wind. Okay, well, that's a win. Inorganic. Give BP to everyone, then mimic it like I did in the vid I sent a while back. Yeah, yeah, man. The videos that you sent in the Discord are absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. It makes me really pumped to play Bravely Default 2. Uh, I'm just going to do a normal attack here because I want to try and get an examine off. There we go. Just so then I have all the weaknesses showing up properly. I'm a bit of a stickler for that sort of detail. Oof. Ooh, okay. Okay, now we can go with the Aquatic Slayer. We're gonna cure all allies. I don't think it'll get to that point, but we'll see. I think that's it. Yep. A hundred, uh, 1,000 more points, or close enough to, and we have Tiz at max level for Ranger, which is great. There we go. Oh, it's like a shark. A zombie shark. Undead. The BP battery strat is actually a lifesaver at some points, allowing you to full blave literally every turn with no waiting penalty. Man, that is... It is wild, absolutely wild. There we go. Let's see how that goes. I wonder if we'll be able to take them all out. 24. Oh, okay, so we took that out. Excellent. Oh. We are... I think we're a little bit over-leveled. <laughs> all that grinding is... is paying off. They don't hit very uh, hard for these types of enemies. Crucial. Excellent, that's one down. And boom, another one down. Another one bites the dust. And we're Mastered Ranger. We learned Multiburst. What does Multiburst do? Is that an ability? No, it's not. It is a move. I just want to see what it does. Multi-burst. A four-hit attack on four random targets.
You get four times the turns that your opponents get, and with your current DPS, they won't move at all. Let's give it a try. I want to see how this goes. Nah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Alright, so we'll swap him around. There we go. There. I was talking about BP battery still, but that works too. Ah, uh, yes, I get, oh, sorry. Yeah, I got mixed up there. Um, <laughs> my bad. Um, yeah, uh, that, that being able to, to have that many, those many hits in one round compared to your enemies, however many, you know, compared to the enemy's counter is absolutely wild and being able to basically control the battlefield in a way that your enemies aren't aren't able to attack is really powerful really really powerful so there's a there's a thing there so if i go Like this. Like that. Let's see how that goes. So we've dropped a little bit of DPS, but that's okay. Oh, it's still up. Wow, maybe it's not okay. Or maybe, maybe it's because, let's just have a look here. Speed up is 30, turn tables, raise BP when avoiding attack. Multi-hit reminds me of a skill Ranger has in BD2. Hits five to eight times on random targets for little damage. Oh really? That's a little bit, that's a little bit of a bummer. What's raid? Raise BP on, oh, that's right. I remember that. Um... We're talking 0 0.4 to a normal hit. Yeah, it's not it's not that awesome, is it? I'm wondering if I should go for Bow Law. No. Mm. I like that. Counter after evading attack. There's nothing here to increase our physical attack. So I'll leave it as is. I was hoping it might, but you know. Do our good old fashioned god speed strike. You want to see some speed? I'll show you some real speed. Ooh! Law, law is far better than physical or damage boosts. But I. So, so when you say law, like this, this is okay. So this is where I was a little bit confused, right? So see how I've got dagger law. 
see, I shouldn't I already have the aptitude for daggers as S already? I'm pretty sure I have already have that aptitude. Does it do anything additional? Am I missing something there? What is Thieves' proficiency with daggers? I'm pretty sure it already is S. Lemon, sir, Lemon Sorbet, thank you so much for redeeming a toxic waste candy. I will get onto that. Let's let's give it a crack. Yeah, then you don't then you don't need law. Yeah, that's what I thought because I was thinking about that as well. I was like, oh, maybe I should do that. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Um, sup. Sup. Oh, can I do one with you? If you want, here you go. Wait, can we ask Dylan what color? I don't. Nah, let's red. just let's just do it. I don't want red. I don't no. like red. Black cherries. Yeah. I like cherries though. That's what you get. I want one melon. Too bad. I'm standing next to you so they can see. All right. You were talking about bow law, so I thought you were going to do some bow thief strap. I was thinking, I was absolutely thinking about that, and I'm just wondering if the damage is going to be the same with the bow, or if it's going to be... Dad, use the scissors. I mean, I can always experiment and see how it goes. I guess it's okay. The fun, the fun, the fun. Woo! Well. <laughs> More stone face sour candy content. Woo! Oh. What are you going on about? Well. What are you going on about, she says. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I hate the flavor though. I like the sourness, I hate the flavor. Oh. My goodness. Okay, so we got some money. So let's experiment for a minute. Let's go hunting. Let's go undead slayer. No way, no way, no way. She should try spicy food. She does not like spicy food. <laughs> I've actually got some bean boozled. I've got yeah. some spicy bean boozled beans. Wait, somewhere in there. You got Harry Potter. Normal. You got I got candy lots of beans. Canes. You got candy canes too. Spicy beans. This is something you should do for Christmas since it's coming into Christmas. They're, um. Being boozled flaming five challenge and there's sriracha, jalapeno, cayenne pepper, habanero, and Carolina Reaper. Show them this. You should actually do that since it's coming. Oh, and then I've got a naughty or nice one here. But it's candy. Canes. A naughty or nice one that's like candy canes. And it's like you either get chili or strawberry, garlic or orange, or pickle or green apple. So we got some goodies there that we can play around with. So Dylan, if you want one, you can put it in strat chat. Yeah, we'll have to look at setting up redemptions for those ones. But if you want one tonight, just put it in chat. <laughs> I'll be happy. Here to she is running the show. I'd be happy to have one of these. All right, so we want to. I'm just trying a, a targeted attack with oh, the katana, and I then we'll see that. how it goes with the bow, and see what the the difference is. I hit my funny bone. Well, that's a bit funny. That was terrible. Oh! Bye! All right, let's see how that goes. Bye! Wow, okay, so 942. So now, kiddo is not content with making her own channel. She wants yours. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> She's a, she's a funny one, that's for sure. Yeah, so we want the Gale Bun, Gale Bow. And we want to change the turntables. I think I just went the long way for Bow Law. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, and it's perfect. It's the same thing. All 
right? That's much better. Much better. Look at that. Two hits and it's done. Okay, we're running a thief bow. A bow thief. Note that law for a weapon only works when you're wearing... If you're wearing that weapon. Yeah. Oh. Let's do that. Oh. Oh, that's that looks that looked like it was nasty. It's one down. Uh, aquatic slayer. But because of natural talent, I'm sorry, but anything other than knuckle lore is incorrect. <laughs> knuckle lore is damn brutal. There we go. There's another chest here. So close. Take that. My characters have miles more physical attack than even the highest tier weapons in the game. That is absolutely wild, my friend. All right, there. 2k nearly. That's 5k. Followed by 4.4. <laughs> Monko smash. Just The sourness is coming back. Woo! All right, let's go down here. Let's go this way first. I mean, then we need to heal. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what a hit! What a cracker! Oh, you can't ask for better results than that. <laughs> All right, let's heal up. Yeah, I can't wait to pair Monk with Pirate and just see what we can bring home. Here. Oh, chest. Okay. Turbo ether. Oh, these things. They're weak to wind. Now, do I have... Oh, 
Oh, he only has... Maybe I need to change that. Magic damage right now is kind of you. 1k and 1.4k compared to 5k and 4k. Yeah. I, I, I agree. We definitely need to see if we can improve that. And I don't know if... See, I don't know if... Is there a red mage? See, that's a combination, but I don't know if that's going to give the same damage output that we're looking for or if it's going to be greatly affected. Changing sub job isn't going to do anything, yeah. It just gives me access to more spells. That's it, really. That's all it's going to do. Ooh. Okay, see, I'm, I'm happy with that because... There we go, level 7. We're going summoning level 5. The Cura, though. The Cura is wild. What I should probably have a look at... Silence immunity and MP. Let's go up north. Imagine if there was a class that could face enemies and take damage from healing. Ooh, that would be, that would be nasty. That'd be so much fun though. That, that, that could be a really good time. Whack. Adia and Tiz are carrying this team, I've got to be honest. A full team of might mages with one necromancer turning everyone undead. Ooh. Oh, that would be so much fun. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there's nothing there. Heal the team to death, literally, yep. That could be, that could be, yeah, I, it'd be interesting to see, the problem would be is that it, it'd be broken because AI doesn't normally work at heat, like counteracting something like that. You'd have to come across specific AI that will counteract it. A monodon is what it's called, okay. We need to heal up a deer. There is another chest. It wouldn't be broken since enemies don't do healing magic often. The healing magic is innately less potent than any, most of the other damage sources. Yeah, for sure. I I mean, yeah, you're you're absolutely right. It wouldn't it, it wouldn't necessarily be broken. But they would have to... I'd, I'd love to see how they introduce that 
layer of complexity to the AI. I think that'd be really cool. Doof. Oh, it's still up. Wow, okay. We get a gold hourglass. Ooh. Another zombie. Three point two, excellent. Yeah. Oh, we got to attack first for once. There we go. We're going to need to raise our MP for 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 a boss fight, I think. Get that straggler. No, you're all good, Dylan. No worries at all, buddy. Food's here. Ooh, what have you got for dinner? Beef stir fry, yum! Sounds amazing. Oh, you didn't get. We got one down. Excellent. I'm assuming this is what we're after. Uh, aquatic. Yeah, that'll do. No, we want to go down to Thundara. There we go. We're going to get that summoner level up really fast. So we want that. So we're looking for another switch. Another switch.
We had what did we have for dinner? We had oh, I, that's right. I ordered pizza for dinner um, because I didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> I was really lazy tonight. Uh, but I'll be making what will I be making tomorrow night? I'll be making. I'll either be making a carbonara or I'll be making a curry. What type of curry? I don't know yet. But it depends if I want to do a curry or a carbonara. Two point two. Ooh. Four point one. Two point nine. Excellent. We don't need to heal up again. I believe there's a skill to make one-handed weapons two-handed to increase their power. There is. There is. There is. See, I don't know if that works for bow. It is a knight class. It doesn't work for bow. Sword, axe, spear, staff, and katana. It doesn't work for daggers, and it doesn't work for bows. It doesn't work for maces. Because I did consider that. I did consider with the, with the dagger, d like, doing that. But having said that, I could probably dual wield daggers as a thief. Potentially. Woo. There we go. Jewel World has a penalty to it. There is a skill to remove this penalty. Ooh. I didn't know about that. Do you know what the skill is that removes the penalty? Just out of interest? It's called Jewel Wield, it's from Ninja. Ah, okay. See, that's where I was thinking, that's that's what I mean. Like, if I can get Thief up to level 14, I might look at leveling up Ninja as well. Because it might help Tiz. There we go. Level up, 62, oh goodness. Deer level 62. Nice. Now we need... Lucky I've got a few. Just to get ourselves up again.
Excellent. Now, yes, this is where we want to be. We want to go to the other side. See how this pans out. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> it's 8k damage at the start of a move. Let's try it this way. The penalty is 7 to 12 times boost from each weapon instead of full power. Oh, right. Wow, that, that, is, that is a bit lackluster, isn't it? There we go. 62 for tears. Nasty. That's seven twelfths of the original power, not range. Yeah, well, that seven twelfths. I mean, that's not too bad. So, I mean, I mean, it's still it's still a penalty. But if that dual wield skill gets rid of it, then it'll be really beneficial. Definitely going to have to look into it to see what we can do. One note. A listening. Woohoo! That's one down. Is that two down? Yeah. Okay. Magic equipment like staffs do not receive this penalty. Ooh, interesting. Well, I guess, I suppose they... They're not really used as physical attacks, are they? Not often, anyway. Level up for a deer. Nice! We're gonna get level 7 at summon under level 9 soon. Even better. Nine point six, four point one. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about strictly magic attack. If you're a dumbass who would use a staff to physically attack, you still get a penalty. Yeah, yeah. There is. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's real. That's really beneficial. So so I'm guessing if you dual wield sta staffs, do you get? additional magic attack out of that. Yes. Okay. Well, maybe I have to look at that for um, Adia. And I'm guessing, does that apply to rods as well? Or is it just st staves?
Yeah, so anything that has a magic bonus attack. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have a bit of fun in a minute. Level eight for Ring a Bell. Summon substitute support ability. Okay. I just want to have a look at that support ability. Summon magic is invoked upon. Summon magic is invoked upon KO. Ooh. Look at that. Let's see how that goes. Not that we're going to see it. <laughs> Summoner is all about spanning summons as hard as possible. The enemy breathing involves a summon, to, uh, a, in, invokes a summon, uh, invokes a summon at level 14. Ooh. We definitely, yeah, I think it'll be good to have leveled up. I do, I think, I, I don't know if I'm missing any more summons at this stage. I've got three. I don't know if I need any more. But you get my point. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Five point one. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's a lot better. Okay. There we go. What's further down here? Another chest? Cross axe. Okay, okay. Five K down the shoot. Eight point three down the shoot. Woo. Heck yeah. Nine K. Congrats, you've won the game. There's nothing left for you here. <laughs> this is so good. So much fun. <laughs> Remember that nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine is the cap. We're nearly there. <laughs> and how many more chapters have we got to go? How many more chapters have we got to go? We're nearly a damage cap. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the game is eight chapters. We're not even halfway through the game. Not even halfway through the game. And we're nearly a damage cap. <laughs> oh, that is so good. <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what more is there to do? <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. All right, let's give this. And you are this high on damage. I still can't believe it. I don't know how this will pan out. I should have probably swapped over. Well, maybe not. There we go. I don't need to worry about a single enemy again. Actually, you know what I want to do tonight, Dylan, is tonight I want to get in a couple more episodes of Konosuba before I go to bed. That's something I really want to do. Uh, I feel like I've been missing, I've been missing watching it and I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch it. If I could watch it while I work, that would be amazing. But I feel like my boss might get cranky with me if I do that. Pink, it's good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Oh, nope. I started over in Pokemon Violet on wife's profile. Oh, nice, dude. What starter did you go with? She has net access and always grass. It's my thing. No worries, Pink. I can respect that. I usually pick... I alternate, like, I sort of, like, toss up between... I'm always a favourite of water and grass. I never... I, I don't think I've ever picked fire type... The fire type first. Please help. I told Dez to use one skill and suddenly he's hitting near damage cap. He's not even halfway in the game. <laughs> yes, we've, um... We've just about broken the game in Bravely Default Pink. <laughs> just one one adjustment to the skill and we're nearly at damage cap. <laughs> and we still got another four, five chapters to go. There we go. 4.9 Oh, <laughs> three of them this time. Okay. Nope. Yeah. There we go. When you find that OP build, oh man, it's just 
there, there's so many different ways. Like, there's you, you could, there's all sorts of different ways that you could manipulate the skills and like pair them all to uh to reach your damage cap. There's like I like the fact that there's no you don't have to use one skill line to do it. You can use any like a combination of all the ones that are there, uh, which is really cool. You went and got the latest expansion for Guild Wars 2. Heck yeah, my friend. Have you been able to play much of it? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we want to go this way. Oh, another set. Okay. See how that goes. Will we get them all in one move this time around? No. It's a shame. I don't... Not yet started over. I was working on getting the build done. Now I can start the whole story arc. I have this, this play route I do. Okay, fair enough. Actually, I will actually look at Guild Wars 2 when I uh, have some time. I'm working this weekend, so my time this weekend is going to be pretty poor, but I do want to give it another... I, I, I do want to give Guild Wars 2 another chance. Uh, I, don't I don't feel like I gave it the, the time it really deserves. And it was one of my first original MMOs that I ever played was Guild Wars, the original Guild Wars. And so, uh, I think it'd be worth revisiting. No, what are we doing? That's not what we want. We want that. Let's see how that goes. That should do it. We'll have no problems with this. <laughs> Damage cap! Woo! <laughs> yes! Did you see that? <laughs> we hit damage cap. Woohoo! <laughs> I was here. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's, that feels so good. So good. <laughs> is that... Let's get... It's three hours and that is two and a half. Let's go that one. So basically, I go and map all the towns first, and I get waypoints just outside the towns. Then I work on getting my level to max and get the build I want for that class done before I do the story. Makes sense, man. Makes sense. Um, I I think like like when I when I um, what I do with ESO is I I go through and I collect. I sort of work as like a wave or I work in like a clap. I either work as a wave from like, well, I, well it, it's, it, it's a wave that I start in clockwise and I always start from wherever I enter the zone. So if I enter in at like the bottom left then I'll go clockwise and go around and so on and so forth. And I'll go through the storylines of each zone that way. Um, that's how I've always played. And I think I'll still discover a lot of great stuff in Guild Wars 2 doing that. Um, oh, I've, I've got to have a look at all the classes and get myself familiar with it all again. Try to get some of my crafts to the max that I need. Yeah, because you can actually craft some some good end game gear naturally, can't you? You don't necessarily have to get good drops to have good gear. You can actually craft good gear, right? Um, there's a chest here. Okay. I forgot I restarted because of the missed asterisk. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. When when was the missed asterisk? Is it like chapter five? Chapter six, okay. 
With the latest stuff, you can earn points doing stuff and save up points to get endgame ascended gear from the vault. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. The more you know. Hammer mace. Okay. Is that a... That is a physical weapon, so we we don't want that. But we want to we want to heal. There we go. Pressure point on the dark stomper. There we go. <laughs> 8k hits. Oh, man. I definitely feel like we could easily max all job classes before end game. I definitely feel we could do that. Change the color of my dragon mount makes me look cool in the outfit I've got on. Heck yeah, man. I, um, dragon mounts, that's cool. Holy shit. I didn't know that was a thing. It's in random picks. Thanks, Pink. I will check that out as soon as I can, my friend. Uh, I think that's... There we go. That's level 13 for Monk. Learnt Phoenix Flight. Okay, I wonder what that does. Now, do we want to go? Okay, we can't do anything there. Powerful attack that sacrifices own HP. I'm going to just test it out and see how it goes. 4.7 doesn't do as much as I hoped that 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 payoff is pretty bad I was expecting it to do a lot more than what it did it's okay Okay, so first expansion, Heart of Thorns, introduced gliders. Second expansion, Path of Fires, introduced mounts. And each one performs different abilities. It sacrifices all your HP and deals it as damage exactly. Ah, okay, I see what it does now. So that's cool, Pink. I didn't realize... That's cool. I didn't... That's, um... I haven't seen mounts actually have abilities. That's cool. I like the sound of that. Right, come on. There we go. Oh, we're not quite getting there. We're nearly at uh, another level for um, Agnes as well. Agnes, sorry. Agnes, I should say. Uh, pressure point. Five 
5.3. 8.7. Ooh. Yeah, we're nearly at level 13 for Salve Maker, which is great. Um, we're one step closer to having her maxed out, which is good. So Raptor, long jump, springer, high jump, skimmer, skim over water or dive underwater if you trained it up. Roller beetle, race mount, jackal, blink, teleport, war beast, PvP mount, griffin is a flying mount but costs a fortune to get. And sky scale is the dragon mount, better than griffin and doesn't cost to get. Ooh, that's cool. And there's like eight or nine different classes as well as... There's like eight or nine different classes as well as eight or nine different races, isn't there? End of Dragons, the third expansion to introduce the turtle tank. That's a two-seater with cannons. Wow. A turtle with tank cannons. You can get a Blastoist in the game. That's what's wild. Uh, we need to get another turbo ether out. I might do it there because it just doesn't hurt. Now, do I want to... Let's go down this way. We might as well. Ch uh, it's chapter one. I just hit damage cap. Oh my god. <laughs> Game over. Game over. I think five races. Oh, okay. Yeah, five. That that makes that sounds about right. Yeah. Oh, we're nearly there. Natural talent, luck, knuckle, law, pressure point. Ooh. That's awesome. Fourth expansion was allow, uh, has allowed classes to use more variety of weapons. Ah, right, okay. Actually, what I'll do... Give me a second... I'm just adding, I'm just adding Guild Wars 2 in my browser. So that way I can remember for later. Otherwise I'll forget. So I can have a look at it a bit more. Wasn't even a crit, dude. With, with that cat, with that set up, it is brutal. Absolutely devastating. I love Pressure Point. A Rakiri? Okay. There we go. Woo! Go, you good thing. I'd show you the map. It's insane. Man, I, I'll be definitely having a look into it a bit more. That's for sure. There we go. Level 13. Sound maker. Resurrect. Nice. Can I do that twice? Nope. <laughs> I 
I was hoping I could, but you know. Dun, 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 dun. You can do uh, PP twice. Oh, pressure point I can, but I can't do Godspeed strike twice. Godspeed strike is a one, one and sort of done sort of thing for a few turns. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. What's down here? Uh, unless BP battery, yeah. Well, that's that's the that's the next thing we need to look at, right? Is uh, is uh, what we're going to focus on next? Like, I, I can't believe it with a D, with a DR, we haven't even looked at adding pirate like the piracy line to it yet either. So there's so much room for growth. It's ridiculous. There we go. Oh, okay. It looks like there is. Might have to do a little bit of backtracking for a moment. Woo! Damn! Damn! Yeah, we might have to backtrack for half a mo. Uh, no, I think that's okay. Because I think we'll take it out one hit anyway. Yes! Nice! There we go. Happy days. That should take it all out in one hit. One down. Oof, two down. There we go. Okay, I posted a link of the map for Guild Wars 2, but it doesn't include the latest expansion maps. So each box is a map for reference. Okay, good to know. I'll I'll check that out soon, my friend. There we go. There we go. Woo, dusty. Wasn't expecting that. It's a bit rude. Um, lucky I've got plenty of Phoenix Downs. I mean, I've got plenty of potions, so I might as well use all these.
Ooh, evasiveness. Okay. This will be an easy one. 5k. 4.1k. Excellent. Now, again, Oh, my hair's all over the place. My headphones are all over the place. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, there's stairs, okay. Go. Woohoo! Okay, so what's down here? Nope. There we go. <laughs> All my characters have about 580 physical attack in, in equip in equip menu. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. So where to next? That's the que big question. Who hit cap on your M? I think it, I'm pretty sure it was Tiz. I'm pretty sure it was Tiz. So we want to go down these stairs. Damn, it's so cold tonight. It is, it's a bit like, here in Brisbane, um, it's been raining most of the day for me. Uh, so it's a bit cold and miserable here, but I, th I really enjoy that sort of weather. I thoroughly enjoy it being nice and cold, uh, but it is a bit chilly, that's for sure. Uh, it's expected to be raining all week, which is no surprise, given the season it is. So is this where the last lever is? Oh. Like, what's his attack and speed? Oh, okay, let me have a look. Okay, so we want to go to... There we go. So 
So we got... Is that better? No, that's not what we want. A hundred and sixty four attack. And our evasion is sixty three, not bad. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, we gotta hit. Evasion isn't what matters. I couldn't see where speed was. I was being... I might have been having a moment there. Cap again! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! How good is that? <laughs> I think that's so cool. Alright, here's the last lever. Five thousand. Three point seven. Ooh. No. <laughs> Aww. Oh, don't you just hate it when that happens? There we go. There we go. It's the other one done. Now we gotta get back to that elevator. That's that one down. That's that one down. Oh, so right on the stairs. Here we go. Now, from memory, oh, we got to go through this first. Go like that, see how that goes. Um, I think we're getting close to the uh, to the end, so happy to spend my last turbo ether to get there. Choo. Shooty shoot, bangy bang. Oi, nasty.
Okay, so we need to go all the way up and around. I might turn off the... Um... The difficulty a bit just to get through this section, but we'll see. It's good farming. It's good XP. And it's not like I don't have the money to buy more ethers if we need to. Which we probably will. we go. Fire. Oh, okay. There we go. And again. Oh, so close to cap, it's not funny. No, don't. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't you just hate it when that happens? That's not what I wanted, but okay. Should work out well anyway. Yeah. We're getting good levels. Good, good levels. Grab another drink out. We got this. We're nearly there. What I might do is I might change it to normal difficulty. I won't... Change the encounter rate just to normal rather than uh, boosted. Just to hopefully speeding things up a little bit. Because I definitely want to get chapter four done tonight. That's the goal. If I can get chapter four done, I'll be a happy boy. Here we are.
There we go. Oof, what a hit. Down we go. Another Arctic Wind, okay, cool. Yes. Now, apparently, there's a hidden item along here. This, there we go, see? Do you see it? It's one down. Oh, we're not going to get two down. Oh, we might. We might get them all down. Oh. Yeah, there we go. All's well, ends well. Mega elixir, nice. All right. Yeah, do it now. Get it out of the way. Sent my ideas, stats, and Discord. Okay, cool. I'll check that out shortly. All right, so I think that path is continuing to the boss. What's up here? Here we go. Boom. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, chest. Barrier shroud, okay. All right, now we can go on. Well, not quite. There we go.
Man, we didn't do any any good there. It's one down. Can we get the other down? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Now. Magic. Let's heal everyone up. Save. Continue playing. And this looks like it. All right. Punch him so hard he explodes. Let's do it. I love the enthusiasm. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Holy crap. Okay. Um, God speaks straight, straight, of, uh, straight up. Can I poison? I'm gonna go with Thundara. Murder him good. 4.4. 4.4, That's probably close to 10. I'll 12. He's very strong offensively. If that's the case. Let's do that just for Agnes, because I want to make sure. That's not really what I'm looking for. Wow, okay. Good. Oh, nasty. I haven't seen this guy mess some people up on YouTube. Man, this is going to be interesting. See how that goes. 4.4. .4. Okay, we're still doing d a decent amount of damage. That's concerning. But we've got a healer on full time, so I'm not too worried. He has 80k health on easy difficulty. On normal, he should have 120k. Ooh. Okay.
I'd wager that we're about halfway there. I think we got it. Sixty K, eighty K, hundred and eight K. Ooh. All right, I'm happy with that. That was lucky. Just to top everyone off. His physical attack is in the 200s. Ooh, okay. Pirate and knight like debuff and enemies, right? Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! GG's! We got a level up for, uh, for Ring of Bell. Ring of Bell, level up for Agnes. And that's it. Take that, you massive fish! <laughs> Let the cinnamon roll take care of it. I'm sure we'll find out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, just push any button.
Yeah, ring a bell. <laughs> it flies. That's awesome. Okay, this is where the game opens up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woohoo! We got a chef. <laughs> yes, that is so cool. No terrain can buy your progress now. The world is your oyster. To land, find an open area and press the A button. When landing in water, you can sail off on the echelon. Lose your boat after disembarking the grand ship? Don't worry. That's what an airship icon at the bottom of the map menu is a menu is for. Give it a touch. Okay. All right. Ain't that the truth? The proprietress put on a brave face, but we now make for the duchy, enemy territory. Right. It's going to be dangerous. Drats, dats, zats. It's best if you two look, took the proprietress and left the ship. Though it kills me to say farewell to her cooking. No more desserts. It can't be helped, you two. Besides, these two have their mission as shield bearers. Huh? Mission? Oh, right, oh, right. Hey, don't worry about that. Our current orders are to escort the Vestal of Wind and keep her safe. What? Since when? Since you guys helped us out, the orders came from Commander Goodman himself. That's why the two of us both came back to the Gram ship to, uh, to, tip a few, to tip a few back. The old house is full of the uh, new shield bearers who came to take over for us. Then I guess that just leaves the proprietress. We'll have to convince her to take shelter. Yeah, good luck with that. Maybe when Mount Karka freezes over. <laughs> You'll be lucky if she doesn't beat you for asking. I'm Grand Ship born and raised, and if you don't like it, get the heck off my boat. <laughs> Too perfect. That's her answer guaranteed. Uh, an uncanny likeness. Still, the danger is too great. It is for her own sake that we ask. Look, my bet is that seeing you all stirred something inside her, inspired her. Besides, you really should, you really think you can live without her cooking now that you've had it? A fate grimmer than a thousand deaths. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> You're not bad yourself. Look at you leave her. Look, you leave her to us. Between the three of us, we'll keep this boat safe when you are away, no matter what. Then you have my thanks, Dats, Zats. Think nothing of it. You just rest easy and leave the crate. Leave this crate to us. And another one, the Ice of Eternia. Whoa, this is amazing. Look how high up we are. I could gaze upon every woman in the world at, at once from a grand ship's deck. I'm coming, my sweets. There's not one, not a, a, not a one of you more than ten minutes away from me now, and the long wait is over. Yours is one track mind, and that truck isn't even a good one. Still, it's weird coming home after so long. Eternia, land of immortality. It's cold there year round, right? Right, and I'm not kidding when I say cold. Bundle up, everybody. Adia, what, um, what is snow like? I fear I've never seen it before. Well, for one, it's at the top of my white as snow list. It's like white fluffy crystals raining from the sky. I see, that sounds quite romantic, actually. It's like bits of cotton candy falling from the heavens. It still melts on your tongue, but it's salty, not sweet. It, it, is that so? It does start. Uh, it does start as evaporated seawater, after all. 
Ah, of course, and the sea is certainly salty. And that's not all. Ugh. Pardon me. Sometimes when it snows, fish fall from the sky. Fish? Really? <laughs> Don't tease the poor Marie girl, ring a bell. Be nice. You were deceiving me? <laughs> Sorry I didn't pipe up sooner. You still have if you still have questions, I'll give you real answers. Honestly, Adia, so what colour is snow really? Okay. So, controlling the grand ship. Now that you've unlocked the full potential of the grand ship, nothing is out of your reach. You're literally in creative mode now? Like, look at this thing. This thing is freaking huge. For quick access, there's been a new ship icon. From here, you can choose to pilot the grand ship yourself or set it on autopilot to one of several destinations you visited. You can also set down on almost any la area of land when prompted and can summon a grand ship to pick you up by pressing the button on the sliding menu. If you'd like to sail the seas, you can also drop down in the ocean and swap to the echelot and back to the grand ship when you need to be picked up. While most of the people have left, Zats and Das have remained on the grand ship, which, is, which you can also choose to explore by hitting the grand ship icon. You can still browse the market, now run by Zats and Dats, and speak to the adventure. Okay, so... Enter the airship. So, if that's the case, uh, what we need to do is we need to stock up. We need to stock up on goodies. Uh, let's get... There we go. We're well and truly prepared now. Holy crap. See what I meant by the game opening up? This is huge. This is insane. This is going to be crazy. Did you try the Gallade strat we set up yesterday? I haven't had a chance to yet, man. Uh, but I do have my Switch here with me. And I'm hoping that if I get a couple of hours tonight, I am going to, uh, because I want to, um, I definitely want to give it a crack. I think it's going to make things a lot quicker, that's for sure. I wonder if there's any new items in the ship, in the, uh, I don't think there is. Oh, no, no, we've got all that. Any new spells? No. Nah. Yeah, it's been all all systems go for for work for me, so I haven't had a much chance to um, play around and enjoy things. But I'm hoping that now that like I got tomorrow night off, hopefully if my part for my PC comes and it goes smoothly, false light always leaves Pokemon at one HP, so there's no need to fear killing anything. Yeah, hundred percent. It's gonna make life so much more easier and gives me so it puts me so much more at ease so i'm really looking forward to it is this where we want to be okay Well, give us your asterisk, you dark knight bastard. <laughs> I 
I want my rage skill. <laughs> This is true. Do I want to get off here or? I'm guessing I want to get off here. Sounds like it. Demon child. <laughs> Eternia has only uh, is the only place you cannot freely land on. They deliberately made it mountainy enough so you can barely fit the grand ship there. Okay, this is going to be interesting then. Interesting. There we are, chapter four, my friends. Woohoo! So happy. Here we go, the last unique chapter in the game. The rest is all repetitive bullshit. Oh, really? It's true. If it, yeah, I mean, if it's true, it's true. There's not much, not, nothing can be done about it, right? Okie dokie. All right. So we got eye drops, okay. Oh, let me get that off. All right. So we want to we want to head through here. Is that right? Oh, 
Okay. Death to the Empire! Ooh. Down with the duchy. want you to use Cura on Tiz. Rude. I think we'll get this done. We, we, we won't have any issues here, I think. Yep. Oh, hang on. Let's do that. Let's give that a crack. <laughs> yeah! See, now I'm red and I match. Fire train choo choo! Chicka 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 chicka. I think I can. I think I can. Woo! Why is someone so weak mid to late game? Yeah, I feel like they could pack a lot more of a punch. I feel like that could do a lot more damage for the payoff that it is. That sucks. Unfortunate. There we go. Yeah. 
Yep, Tia's got a level. Adia will get a level. Should probably heal up at Ring a Bell. There we go. So, is this where we want to go? Interesting. Interesting. Not nobody like the lied. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you. Okay. The thing is, summons don't base their damage on your stats. What are they based on? Summoner perks alone. Ah, uh, okay. Ring Bell needs some serious help. Ring Bell really does. Maybe a good bonk on the head. Maybe he'll remember. Oh dear. Okay, so we got an inn, we got a couple of shops, hang on just a second, let's go to the magic shop, Astanga, a lot of Curanda, wind damage, ooh, we got better wet skills, okay. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Flame tongue. We've already got a flame tongue, but we don't have a war axe. Cross spear. 
Wizard's Rod, Staff of Life, Assassin's Dagger, Killer Bow, Kotetsu, Toxic Claws, an Adamant Shield. I don't think anyone's using those. Oh man, I am broke. Ha! <laughs> Time for me to grind again. What items? So they're selling Turbo Ethan now. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, what I might do is I might finish up there. I think that's a nice spot to finish. Uh, and it means that when we... Uh, it means that we can start up uh, next stream onto chapter four straight away, which I think is going to be awesome. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. I really do appreciate it. Um, not nobody follow the host. Thank you so much for the follow not nobody. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Chroma Club. I hope you enjoy your time here with us. Um, but that is it for this evening, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Uh, thank you so much to Dylan. Thank you so much to Pink. Thank you so much to uh, Ferns as well. Thank you so much to Lemon Sorbet. All for you guys for hanging out. Thank you so much to Kaylee. Thank you so much to Not Nobody. Thank you so much to Shoeys. I appreciate you all, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight and making... Um, you are ending right after Kevin for me. Oh, really? Oh, dear. <laughs> um, but uh, we will, don't stress, we will be live again later in the week. We'll be live on Thursday night. Uh, we won't be live on Friday night because my daughter's got a uh, band recital uh, that we're going to. So I won't be live Friday night, but we'll be live Thursday night where we will be doing some more Starfield because we haven't played some Starfield in a while and it'd be good to get into it. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing you all again very soon. Uh, if you have any questions or anything for me, reach me out into Discord or um, on the socials or anything like that. More than happy to have you guys. But that's it. That's it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.